Welcome everyone. It's good to be back to Dubai and it's good to see you still here despite the time. My name is David. I'm the co-founder and technology director of the MeAI application, an application which is going to reshape the healthy lifestyle in the future in the Web3 world. Let's start with our team. So basically, we are working on the second project in crypto space. Uh, most of the team is based in Poland. However, we have eight founders working on the application and overall 20 people working on it as well, from the marketing uh, to developers. We were doing some research over the past year. We were trying to find out actually what is still missing in Web3 and also in Web2. So we were checking the, um, the lifestyle application market and we found out that there's still very uh, huge opportunity to be addressed like 10 billion of TAM and 1.5 billion of SOM. So what's the problem? What, what the problem are we facing here? Mm, in our current fast-paced world, people fail to actually sustain their self-improvement. When, when I'm talking about the self-improvement, I'm talking about healthy lifestyle, maintaining it. But for a longer period of time, you have multiple applications from the web to world, but actually in many occasions, then they do not incentivize enough people. And with the current technology, with the blockchain and possibility of usage of Web3, it is much easier to achieve that. So our solution, our solution is like a one app, one app, who is going to have all of the features that can generally improve your health. It's going to improve your physical health, but also it's going to improve your mental health. And it is going to be done in a gamified, fun way, so it's easier to incentivize users, actually, to keep going every day. So how does it work? We have like a main character, your avatar. It's like a Tamagotchi, so you're basically creating yourself in the app. It's like an RPG game, so you're leveling over time. Your decisions, which you do on a daily basis, will affect your avatar, which is going to change over time. And additionally, it will unlock additional tiers. It will get more experience like in any, any RPG game. And how to do that? You're going to have four modules to choose from. We have Me Diet, which is focusing on the uh, diet, what you eat, what you drink, using the AI, AI technology. So basically, you take your phone, you make photo of what you eat, AI engine is going to recognize it, and is going to assign points and tokens based if you're eating the healthy food. It could be casual, but you can also be, um, you can also follow our dietary preferences, our dietary plans, so it could be from casual to professional. Then we have the Me Explore, which is all about the exploration. So we want to actually reward users for exploring the world while doing the healthy activities, but also in a fun way. You have many applications that will just track your steps, for instance. We are going one step further. Um, imagine Pokemon Go, but without the Pokemons. So you have digital objectives all around the world. Go to the lake, go to the forest, climb this mountain, and then use AR technology to scan your surroundings and be rewarded for that. You can do that by yourself, or you can do it in a team. That's what for the next module is me social. So you can tag your team into application. The last one is me growth, and it's all about your mental um, wellness, well-being by basically using all the other modules which are going to feed the AI engine, we will be able to present you the solutions like articles and also different videos that are going to improve your mental well-being. Business model. So we, it's pretty complex, but we are going to get things coming from the subscriptions using NFTs, partnerships with Web2 companies, royalties, NFTs, product placement and advertisement. All this stream will be required to go to the application, so we will have like a sustained environment. Roadmap. So currently we are in the MVP app development phase. Um, soon, in about two or three months, we are going to release the MVP and the token. So it's still ongoing process. We will be working on the design phase and the marketing for the last three, 13 months. And the whole development phase is planned for approximately 15 months. Tokenomics, uh, so we already closed the pre-seed phase, and we are now in the seed phase, which is going to stay open for about two or three months. Use of funds, we are going to build MVP, execute marketing strategy, and launch the token on tier one sex. Previous token traction, so like I said, this is our second project. 
the previous one was very successful and we made the uh, return for the investors about on average 1000x. Thank you very much. If you have any other questions, please feel, feel free to ask. So I have a question, but before that, can you just talk about that 1000x which you said in passing, please? The, what was that 1000x? You yeah, did? sure. So that was our previous project, which was called Luni, which was built on Terra. We started with the market cap of $15,000 and we reached the market cap of $22 million. So for our, for our early investors, it was on average 1000x in, in 50 days. Okay. Uh, going back to your original premise that unlike the Happy Five Me or the Meal app or the breathing app, etc., you do all of that, which was your diagram. Yes, we want to include everything. Correct, correct. Agree, agreed. Now, what I have found is that the others are not avoiding doing everything or more things because it's difficult. It is just that the consumer of these services actually wants to do only one thing. They just want to do breathing or they only want to do one thing. Is mm -hmm. that different from your experience that the customer wants one app which does all these things? Yes. Actually, from what I was researching and for, by, also for the usage of applications which I was going, do, doing as a gamer as well in the past, I think it's better to have actually everything combined in one, especially when you have this gamified aspect of interconnection of all those modules. So imagine getting up in the morning, you have your app, you want to check your progress. It is like your avatar which you are actually taking care of. So it's better to have everything in one place from food through exercise and through the mental growth. I mean, it's pretty easy to implement it. I mean, easy, relatively easy to implement it with the AI technology nowadays and with some advanced tweaks uh, in an in a orderly manner. So I think that having everything in one which would benefit actually users to focus on what they're doing because you have one ecosystem and you grow everything in one place. So um, my question is about uh, data privacy, data collection, data monetization. I think uh, whether people understand or not, smartphone is a fantastic human sensor, yes. especially considering all the input that, that goes into it on a daily basis. And whether you might be planning it or not, this app, outside of the idea of a, a healthcare or health lifestyle app, is sort of like a holistic data collection app, collecting everything around a particular individual's life. Mm -hmm. What kind of plans do you have around the data management and monetization? So first of all, we, when we are onboarding the users, we are using like the blockchain technology for that, obviously. So we are identifying the users just by the, by the wallet address and their email address if they want to provide it. So that's one of the things. If they want to uh, provide additional data, it will be also possible for them. Regarding the data, uh, the data for the data sets, for example, for image recognition, they would, that will be saved as a pictures, but the other privacy data, there's not like medical data inside. We are tracking, we're using camera, just for making the, the photos, and the GPS location if users are using the exploration module. So there's no like very private data and we are not identifying the users by their real uh, identity. It's blockchain. Thank you.